Campaign 2006 is here, and your vote can make a difference. Comcast brings you the candidates on demand right now. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Comcast Candidates on Demand. I'm Tony Hill. Joining us today is Ken Ullman, who is Democratic candidate for County Executive of Howard County. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to have you here today. Uh, I want to talk with you first and foremost about sure. what it is that distinguishes you from your opponent uh, that, that really makes you stand out. Sure. Well, you know, uh, in Howard County, we have an enviable quality of life. We've got great public schools. We've got the number one ranked library system in the country. You know, Sports Illustrated magazine just named Howard County one of the top eight good sports communities in the country for the quality of our parks and recreational department. Money magazine just said we're the fourth best place in America to live. We're a safe county. And I really believe that uh, my record shows I've been strongly committed to funding our, our institutions that help make up our quality of life, our public schools, our libraries and our public safety. And I'm running against an opponent, uh, candidly, who has, just doesn't have a record that shows the same. Uh, in fact, he's proposed uh, dramatic and drastic cuts to the Board of Education's budget, to our library's budget, and voted against a police and fire training facility that we're currently building in Howard County. And I think uh, the voters understand that they moved to Howard County, a lot of them at least, uh, for the quality of life, for the public schools, and they want a county executive who's going to make education a priority. Okay. Let's talk about what it was that initially made you want to become uh, an elected official, serve the public. Sure. Well, you know, I was, I'm very proud to have been born and raised in Howard County. I was actually one of the first babies born at Howard County General Hospital. Love the county. Um, I grew up always being involved in different issues and activities. Um, when I was in college, I was involved, uh, involved uh, throughout, worked on a number of different campaigns. And I told myself that uh, if I, when I moved back uh, home and started raising a family, if I thought I could give back and make a difference, that I would. And I ran for county council. I won. And here I am running for county executive. And I believe uh, we've got a great county, but we've got to have the kind of leaders who make, again, our quality of life, our public education, our public safety a number one priority to continue Howard County's uh, enviable quality of life. All right. If you are elected to head up the county, what will be your number one priority? Number, number one priority is to enhance and strengthen our quality of life and to make sure that we manage growth in a way that strengthens that quality of life rather than erodes it. And that's a challenge for us because we're such a great uh, place to, to live, so people want to move there, yet we're a very small county geographically, and we're located right in the middle of the Baltimore-Washington region, so our land use pressures are intense. But I'm going to use the same tenacity that I used when I led the fight to save Meriwether Post Pavilion and fight back the developers who wanted to tear it down and put big box stores in its place to make sure that, that our growth is controlled uh, throughout the county and that the only growth that we allow in the county uh, strengthens our quality of life rather than erodes it. Okay. Uh, give our viewers one reason that they should vote for you versus your opponent. I think I've given a few, but, uh, but again, uh, it's just the record of constant and strong commitment to public education and public safety. Um, and in addition, the will to manage growth in a way that strengthens our quality of life. And I believe I've shown that there are clear differences over the next, uh, and over the next uh, few, few days and weeks as we move forward to the election. Uh, we'll continue to make that case. Uh, it's a great county. We're going to keep it that way. Okay. Let me ask you this. Sure. Uh, as uh, the individual who is head of the county, mm -hmm. uh, what will your uh, directive be? Uh, in terms of making sure that uh, not only are, are the uh, constituents looked after, mm -hmm. but that you also work w well with uh, counterparts uh, to make sure that things are done statewide. Well, that's a great question because because our location puts us right in the middle of everything. I've recently been on uh, recently uh, been on the phone with uh, Jim Smith, the Baltimore County Executive, with Ike Leggett, who's going to be the County Executive of Montgomery County, and, and, and others. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got to work closer as, uh, in a regional partnership, especially when it comes to infrastructure, roads, mass transit. Um, a lot of people are driving through Howard County. Uh, we've got to make sure we're all working in partnership, and especially with BRAC coming, the base realignment efforts, bringing thousands and thousands of jobs to Fort Meade area, Anne Arundel and Howard County, means that we've really got to work together as a region from the state down, and that's something I really look forward to. All right. Thank you for coming in and talking with us. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. My pleasure as well. That's Ken Ullman, who is Democratic candidate for County Executive of Howard County. Thanks for watching Comcast Candidates on Demand. Till next time, I'm Tony Hill.